Today my story is called Meet the Meerkat. And we're going to talk a little bit about the way this book is written because it's written in a pretty neat way. Have you ever seen somebody get interviewed? You might see someone interview for a job or you might see some someone interview for some type of position. And that's basically where someone's going to ask that person questions and figure out if they're a good candidate. Well, this is done in an interview. And you know who they're interviewing? They're interviewing the meerkat. They wanna find out more information, just like in an interview for a job. They wanna find out more information about you. They wanna find out more in, excuse me, information about the meerkat. So today, we're gonna to read Meet the Meerkat. And what I want you to do is to think about all of the different things you're going to learn about this animal. And then we're gonna decide what the main idea of the text is. Are you ready? All right, Meet the Meerkat by Darren Lund. There's the meerkat. Hello, little animal. What is your name? My name is Little Meerkat. I'm kind of a mongoose. Little Meerkat. What do you look like? I am long and thin. I have a pointy face and I'm the size of a squirrel. See how they're asking questions and the meerkat's answering? Little meerkat, where do you live? I live in the African desert. I like the hot sun. Little meerkat, do you live alone? I live with my brothers and sisters. We all live in the same den. Little meerkat, what do you do all day? In the morning, I warm up in the sun. Then I run with my brothers and sisters to find food. Little meerkat, what do you eat? I eat insects and spiders and scorpions. I smell them with my nose. Then I dig them up with my feet. Little meerkat, do you make any sounds? I make funny sounds all day long. Cluck, murmur, peep. I say walk, walk when I see something dangerous. Little meerkat, what do you fear? That means what is he afraid of? I am afraid of eagles and jackals. These animals try to eat me. I take turns with my brothers and sisters to watch for danger. Little meerkat, when do you sleep? I return to my den just before dark. Good night, little meerkat. Meerkats do not like cold mornings. They are most active during the warm part of the day. There's not much food where meerkats live. They have to travel far, far to find what they need to eat. Meerkats live in groups of 10 or more. They like to be around other meerkats. We call them social animals. They care for other meerkats who are sick or hurt. They sometimes even hug each other, just like us. Did you like that story? It's actually not a story. It's actually more informational text, but it is, does tell us a little bit about the meerkat's life. And how did we say this was written? It was written like an interview. The author asked a question to the meerkat and then got the answer. All right, we're gonna sit for just a couple of minutes and then we're gonna think about the main idea. So go ahead. What kind of information did you learn about the meerkat? We'll be right back question that we're going to answer today is what is the main idea of the text Meet the Meerkat? And so we're just going to go back and kind of do some of the um, detective work that a good reader does when they're trying to figure out the main idea. They want to go back and they want to look at the details that the author included in the book. And that way, once they collect all the details, you can use those details to decide the main idea. All right, so in the story Meet the Meerkat, the very first thing that the author asks the meerkat in an interview is, what is your name? And then he explains that he's kind of a mongoose. 
So he's the type of animal that's kind of like a mongoose. And then on the next page, he kind of says, if you guys remember, he talks a little bit about what he looks like. He says he's long and thin. He says he has a pointy face. Did you guys remember that? If you want to, you can write these things down. He says that he is about the size of a squirrel. I know what those look like. I have a ton of those in my yard. All right, the next page he explains that he lives in the African desert in the hot sun. So he lives in the African desert. And he lives in the hot sun. Sorry, my keyboard stopped working there for a minute. Okay, the next thing that the author asks is, does he live alone? And do you remember what he said? He lives with his brothers and sisters in a den. Is where he lives. We're collecting lots of, of uh, details. Then he asks, "When? what do you do all day? He wanted to know, what kind of things does the smear cat do? He says he likes to wake up in the warm sun. He doesn't like it when it's cold. And then what's he do? Finds food. And we learned at the end of the text that there aren't a lot of um, places close to the, mo to the, I almost said mongoose, to the meerkat where they can get food. So they have to travel quite a distance to do that. So that's what he does in the morning when the sun warms up. So do you remember what the meerkat eats? I'll give you a hint. It starts with an I. What is it? Insects. He also likes spiders and he likes scorpions. So that's what they eat. Okay. See if you can remember another fact. He also says, the author asks, do you make any sounds? And what does the meerkat say? <laughs> he makes funny sounds all day. And then he gave us some examples. All right, good job. Especially to warn people, I'm mean, other meerkats. What, remember what the meerkat was afraid of? He was afraid of eagles and jackals because they want to eat it. So obviously that's something that you should be concerned about, right? And then he asked finally, where or when does the meerkat sleep? Does he sleep in the day or does he sleep at night? He sleeps at night just like us. I kind of thought he might be nocturnal, but... He says, no, that's not what happens, right? All right, so those were a lot of the things we learned about the meerkat from his interview with the author. Look at all that stuff. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this information, which are the details in the story, and we're gonna try to determine the main idea. So let's look at all of the things we've learned. So we've learned that they live in a den with the brothers and sisters. They like the warm sun so they can go find food. He makes funny sounds all day. He's afraid of eagles and jackals because they might eat him, but he likes to eat insects, spiders, scorpions. He also has a pointy face, kind of looks like a mongoose. He's long and thin. He's the size of a squirrel and they live in the African desert in the hot sun. So based on this information, what do you think the main idea of the text is? Yeah, it's a lot about the meerkat's life, isn't it? And, and what would you say as far as the meerkat's life? Do you think it's an easy life? I'll tell you some things that I think make it kind of hard. I think it's hard because he lives with a lot of family members. 
and he has to go to find his food. It's not very easy to do that. He lives where it's hot. He's afraid of the eagles and jackals because they can eat him. It's hard for him to find those insects, spiders, and scorpions. So he sometimes makes sounds all day. I think that's a lot of things right there. I mean, these tell you a little bit about him, but I think the meerkat's life isn't very easy. So I might say, for my main idea, the meerkat has a, what kind of life would you say? We could do anything there. The meerkat has a, hmm, what should we say? Interesting life? Sure, that's one we could use as a main idea. Do all of those details go with an interesting life? He sleeps at night, he's long and thin, he lives in the desert, he's afraid of eagles and jackals. Do those all say that that's interesting? Yeah, they could. What's something else we could say? The meerkat has a dangerous life? Sure. If you look at some of those things, the, a lot of those things are dangerous. What's something else we could use? Do you notice that there's maybe more than one main idea or way to say the main idea? The meerkat is interesting. How about that? Do all of these say that he's interesting? Yeah, something new that we've learned about. That's what you try to do when you figure out the main idea. You want to take all of the details. Sometimes I like to work backwards. Sometimes I find the main idea right away and then I have to find the details. A lot of the times I like to find the details or the clues and then look at them to figure out the main idea. The main idea should always be a sentence. Sometimes we ask for the main topic, which is just a word or two, but the main idea should be a sentence explaining what the book is mostly about. Thanks for being here with me. I'll see you later. Bye.